Before I start this video, there's a couple of things that I want to say. And I want to lead off by saying, in a court of law, what you can prove has more weight than what the truth is or isn't. So if you have somebody on a video camera or if you have somebody on audio, what happens is perception becomes the reality. What the jury sees, they have to surmise with whatever in information they have acquired throughout their life, what the ending would have became, and then that is going to most likely push their judgment. So what I'm about to say right now, as far as what this is in this video, take into consideration that we do not know the intent of what somebody is saying unless we take a culmination of events, put them together so we could then discern what a person's motivations are. A person's motivations is the fabric of who they are, not what we see. What we see is determined by the fabric of who we are and what our motivations are. With that being said, let's get to it. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently there was an uproar just the other day because Complex Complex released some audio of the Treyway case. And so we could be 100% sure what I'm talking about is there was a lot of audio that had been released. Some of it had male murder on it, male matrix, and others had shoddy. My question is complex. Come on, those aren't the only two guys on the tapes. Why are those the only two guys that you're releasing audio footage of? If you're going to blow those two guys up, you know, why aren't you going to also expose what the other people is doing? But that's neither here nor there. Shout out to complex. I actually fuck with complex. But on this particular uh, aspect of what they were speaking on, I don't necessarily agree with them. All the way down to, there's a word that is said on the transcript that I don't believe that word has been interpreted correctly. So the first thing we're going to do here is, I'm going to play, well, it, it, the combination of what I'm going to do basically is, I'm going to play three different audio clips. On those three different clips... We're going to then break down what is being said on each clip. Therefore, we can come to the rationalization of what the individual was actually trying to convey on this particular day. Remember, all three of these exertions, uh, all three of these excerpts, pardon me, from this particular uh, dialogue that was happening is all from one day. It's all from July 26th. And also take into consideration that a couple of days prior to July 26th, is when Takashi 69 was kidnapped. And at this point, we can say was kidnapped and not allegedly because somebody has actually been found guilty of that in a court of law. If they decide to go back on that and say, well, you know what? The person is actually not guilty. If he wins the appeal, then at that point, we won't say that the individual is guilty any further. But at this point, because of what has happened in the judicial system, when we speak about this particular event, it, we have to say guilty. At least they have been found guilty. Okay, so there we go. Anyway, so we're going to play three different audio excerpts. And I want you all to pay very close attention because all of these or all of these communications happened on the same exact day. And quite possibly in the same exact conversation. You can get touched, bro. They can come up right now and just start jumping out. We shooting back here. It's going to be a shootout, bro. But we got to kill somebody. Listen to Shadi's voice. 
as you can obviously tell, he is upset. Now, what a lot of people might not forget is that there was actually transcripts of this. There was actually transcripts of this that was actually released. I forgot whose documents they were in. I was trying to look for them. I couldn't find them. But there was transcripts of this already released. And when you read into this and when you see all of this together, it just sounds a lot different. So, first of all, he says, you could get touched, bro. He's talking to him, letting him know that after this thing just happened, look, I know you thought you couldn't get touched. I know we've been walking around talking about how you couldn't get touched. But look, you could get touched. And the, and the actual kidnapping was the proof of that. Then he says, they could come up right now and just start drumming at us. For everybody that don't know, that basically means they could just roll up and start shooting. Then he says, we shooting back. And right about here, you hear uh, Shadi's voice about to get ready to crack a little. And he says, yeah, it's going to be a shootout, bro. But we got to kill somebody. Now, I'm. this is just me talking. This is just me from the little bit of stuff that I might know about, a little bit of stuff that I might know about. Right now, it sounds to me like Shadi is trying to explain the importance of of them being able to secure themselves. He's letting Takashi know, look, these guys might roll up on us at any time and start shooting. This is serious. We might have to kill somebody. He literally says that. He actually says literally that we gonna kill somebody, that they, they basically have to kill somebody because th that's... That's where it's at right now. We cannot allow the thing that happened to keep happening. We're at war. So I want y'all to take all of this into consideration and remember that this all happens. All of these conversations that I'm that is, that I'm about to play for you, they all happened on April 26, 2018. They all happened around the same exact time. So it's easy for us to then surmise that whatever state of mind Shadi was in in this conversation, he was in the same state of mind in the next two conversations that I'm about to play for you. That's not that's not six nine changing, bro. That's six nine maturing, bro. And you can't see your say, yo, bro, you can't be the king of New York because you did. Ain't no king getting violated, bro. Ain't no king getting that. That's not six nine changing, bro. That's six nine maturing, bro. And you can't see yourself, yo, bro, you can't be the king of New York because you did. Ain't no king getting violated, bro. Ain't no king getting shot. That's not 6 9 changing, bro. That's not 6 9 changing, bro. Now, this particular audio is where I think I have uh, not the the greatest or, or the biggest difference or, or my opinion of what the interpretation is. But I think I think they literally just got a word wrong. I think they got a word wrong and having that word wrong right there kind of changes the context of everything. Okay, so right here, um, Shadi says, that's not 6 9 changing, bro. That's 6 9 maturing. And you can't see. Yo, bro, you can't be the king of New York because you dead. They think he say dead. I don't think they say I don't think he says dead. I think he's saying you can't be the king of New York just because you're here. Basically, just because you're here, that doesn't make you the king of New York. Because ain't no king getting violated. Ain't no king getting shot. You get it? I think that uh, I think that word right there, I think, I don't know if complex uh, confused the word I, maybe i'm confusing the word maybe he really did say dead i don't know we wouldn't know unless we spoke to shoddy himself but it does sound like shoddy isn't saying dead to me it sounds to me like he has says the word here don't believe me go back replay it as many times as you can try to clear it up some but i think he says here and if in in also with me thinking he says here that changes the context of ain't no king getting violated that changes the context of ain't no king get shot. He's basically saying, look, we have to do something. You can't call yourself the king of New York just because you're walking around New York. 
Some, you have to prove yourself to be the king. We have to do something. We can't let what just happened. And when I say what just happened, that, that, that alludes to the uh, situation where Harv was just found guilty for kidnapping. Shadi is basically saying, yo, look, we can't just let that happen. Ain't no king in New York getting violated like that, bro. Ain't no king getting shot. And I believe this is what Shadi is saying right there. I could be 100% wrong, by the way. But this is just my interpretation of the information in which we received. And this is what I hear. If you hear different, please let me know. Um, If somebody knows Shadi and want to contact me and say, Nah, Shadi said dead. Please let me know. But my interpretation of this is Shadi is saying, yo, 6 ix not changing, bro. That's 6 9 maturing. And could I also say, not for nothing, often when we are maturing, people that don't want us to to, to too mature try to act like we're changing, try to act like you're different than what you are rather than that you're evolving. So I want to say shout out to Shadi for, 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 for in the middle of this type of situation and in this type of conversation, being, ha being able to have the wherewithal and, and the mental acuity to be able to explain the difference between the two or at least bring it up for conversation because there is a big difference between someone changing and someone maturing because in reality, if you are maturing, you should be changing, but change is not necessarily to maturing, if you can understand what I'm saying. Anyway, so he says, yo, that's not 6 9 changing, bro. That's 6 9 maturing, bro. And you can't see? So it seems to me like he's talking to somebody and he's busy like, like, how, like, how did you not notice this? And he's like, yo, bro, I'm guessing right now he's talking to 6 9 and he says you can't be the king in New York because, because you here. Ain't no king getting violated, bro. Ain't no king get shot. Now, if you take this right there in the context that I just said it in, it makes a lot more sense the next audio that we're about to listen to. I'm going to raise up. Now, if we take the, the the two previous audios that I just played prior to the last one and you you allow for them to be in the same exact conversation, now what does that sound like? It sounds like something different, doesn't it? It doesn't sound like Shadi is saying he's going to shoot Sarah. It sounds like Shadi is telling Takashi or whoever he's talking to, I believe it's Takashi, what the enemy is liable to do. So let's go over the actual uh, audio or, or the, what he actually says, and then we'll backtrack a little bit. So right here he says, Sarah's moving around in cars. I'll fucking... And then he stops. You want to know why you stop right here? Because this is not something that you are saying you would do. This is me telling you, yo, look, man, why didn't you shoot? Uh, obviously, I'm not talking about a jump shot in here. I'm just trying to show uh, the uh, make some kind of connection so you can understand what I'm talking about. So you'd be like, yo, you was wide open. Yo, why didn't you shoot? The yo, I would have shot the ball. You understand what I'm saying? So he's not saying, yo, I fucking shoot Sarah. He's saying, look, I'll fucking shoot Sarah, nigga. I tell you. I'm the one that raised Hoff. So he's basically saying, yo, look, we're him and Hoff is basically from similar cloth. He's the one who raised Hoff. Everybody that don't know, when you get involved in, okay, I, I'm about to say way too much. I'm just going to leave it at that. But basically, he's saying that Hoff came up under him. That's basically what he's saying, basically. Raised it sounds exactly like it sounds like. And he's saying that this type of situation is something that he would do if he was the ops. So he's like, look, Sarah's riding around in cars. 
She is vulnerable. He's saying, look, you know how I know Harv would shoot her? Because I would shoot her. He's not saying that he's going to shoot her. He's saying that's how I know Harv would shoot her. We don't care about kids, women, children. That's what he's saying. He's trying to make himself clear. Because obviously to him, he feels like he's having a conversation with somebody who needs to understand the exact situation that they're in. The gravity of the situation. How dire this situation is. Now, for everybody that don't know, remember that money that allegedly, allegedly, 6 9 put on Hall's head, that $50,000 that has been proclaimed by the government and by wiretaps, that allegedly, allegedly, 6 9 put on Hall's head? That's this conversation. That's this conversation where Shadi is busy trying to tell Takashi how dire the situation is. How they have to do something. How can you say that you're the king of New York and you, you can't get shot at? You can't get violated? How are you going to be the king and you getting violated? You got to do something. You're going to sit around. You know what? You're going to sit around and just let these dudes walk around out there. With your baby mama and your kid. They all out in town doing all. They out there minding their own business. You want you want the enemy to run into them? We got to do something. And that's what it sounds to me like Shadi is saying to Takashi. This is the exact conversation where Takashi agrees to put $50,000 on the head of Hov. Allegedly. Allegedly. This is that exact, well, it actually happens. It's transcripts of this. You know how everybody keeps saying, yo, but Shadi, but Takashi is putting money on people's head. Takashi this, Takashi that. You know how people keep saying that? This is that conversation where he's talking to Shadi. I'm not talking about the one where he's on the phone and whatever the W building got shot up. I'm talking about this one where he's allegedly, where he actually did. I don't know. how. However you want to say it because Harv was still around and nobody shot him. So... That happened. So this is that conversation. This is that conversation. Okay? What do you expect Takashi to do? Takashi can't go out there and fight Hoff. Have you seen Hoff? Hoff, I'm letting you know right now. Hoff about 6'4". Could be 6'5". It looks like he lives in the gym. He don't even got a bed. He has like a, a pull-up bar. That, you know, he, he, he closes his eyes on periodically as he's doing pull-ups. Have you seen Hov? Have you seen Takashi? No disrespect, but before he got locked up, he was, uh, like, you'd be like, hey, like, what shape? And you'd be like, I don't know. Jello? What's Takashi gonna do? Takashi ain't calling Hov out. If Takashi see Hov somewhere in traffic, he in trouble. That's basically what Shadi is telling them. This situation is serious. First of all, you we we are around here calling you the king. You can't get violated. Nobody can't rob you. What in the hell? And even more on top of that, I know this dude. I raised him. I know what he's liable to do. I know what he's capable of. Sarah's out there in cars all day. You know what that makes her? A target. And this is what Shadi is telling Takashi. So just so we could throw this out there. For everybody that keeps talking about how Shadi, how Takashi put $50,000 on Harv's head. Yeah. To protect this kid. Or at least in the thought of his self. In the protection of his kid and his daughter's mother. So yeah. For everybody that hate him for that, you might have to find a new reason to hate him. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. That's what I heard. I didn't hear dead. I don't know where they get that from. I, I, I don't think Complex 
misinterpreted that. I think that was just transcripted and given the complex with that word because they probably couldn't even understand what he said. So the government just said, hey, what's a bad word to throw in there? The first word was something like morbid. They was like, ah, that doesn't fit. Let's just put dead. That's what I think happened. I wouldn't be surprised if the government willingly misled complex and that complex had nothing to do with accidentally or putting out this information in the way in which they did that it's just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, when, when, when your favorite guys go do some bullshit, I'm going to tell you that was some BS. I'm going to call them on it. I am. I've done it in the past. I've called shoddy on stuff in the past. But when I see that an individual hasn't done anything wrong and there's somebody nitpicking and trying to put stuff on them that don't belong to them, I'm going to call the mofos doing it. And I don't think this was a complex thing. I don't think complex made this mistake. And if complex did make this mistake, I think it was an honest mistake. But I think more than anything else, the government just gave complex bias information when they was able to acquire these uh transcripts these tapes these audios and so this is what they came out with they came out with what was the desired outcome the government wanted them to have period this is not a knock on complex i actually i'm i like complex i know i like complex but at the end of the day people need to be held liable and responsible for their reporting I make mistakes over here every once in a while and I live up to them and say I made a mistake. Even though, even though, even after I say, yo, I messed up, you're still going to have people that's going to, you know, come and try to shoot me. They, that's all they're going to want to talk about for like the rest of eternity. They, they, you know what I'm saying? I, I get like 99 things right, but that one thing I get wrong, I got to talk about that every single day for the rest of my life. That's how you know some people have nothing better to do. But the point here is this. It sounds to me like comp like Shadi cared about what was happening to Takashi. It sounds to me like Shadi cared about what was gonna happen to uh Takashi's um daughter, Takashi's baby mama. It sounds to me like he was honestly giving the best advice that he can give in this particular situation in order in hopes to keep everybody that was under his guard safe i don't know what to tell you other than that that's what i see if you see something else please go down in the comment section tell me what you see but that's what i see and i'm not even blaming complex because nine times out of ten the people who actually did the transcript thing and put it up on their platform on snapchat go check out complex on snapchat by the way it's looking kind of fire over there not for nothing but the people who most likely did that they don't even understand enough of gang culture enough of, uh, enough of street life enough of what's happening out there in the street to be able to comprehensively do such a thing and you know get it 100 percent correct I think uh, we should all be happy that they actually put this out there for us to be able to hear. And I'm a content creator, so thank you very much for helping me be able to uh, tell even more of this particular story, to have more dialogue to go with this. But at the end of the day, Shadi was not wrong here at all. At least he was not wrong in the manner in which they were trying to say he was. He wasn't trying to send nobody at Takashi's baby mama. He wasn't mad at her. That's not what they were doing. He was just trying to let Takashi know, you got to come up off of some money because we got to get this guy out of here. Because your daughter and your baby mama, their lives, their lives are at risk. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.